Hello everybody. Welcome to PCCL Physics Chemistry. The voltage, here delivered by this generator, can be analyzed with this oscilloscope. I suggest we do it together. Analyze it, that's to say find the value of the amplitude, which I have hidden here, and the frequency, which I have also hidden. The oscilloscope is not going to give us access to the frequency directly, but we can measure the period and calculate the frequency afterwards. So let's start with the amplitude. V peak. Here I can measure it without even using the sweep. Except that I am not yet sure that it is an alternating voltage. Yes, so I count number of squares from 0, 1, 2, 2.5. Each division is 2 volts, so 2 volts per division times 2.5 divisions equals 5 volts. So much for the amplitude. 5 volts. Then, the frequency. I said we were going to measure the period first. I'm going to spread the curve as much as possible. Without going out, that's it, to have the best precision. 1, 2, 3, 4, for positive alternation. Until then 4 again for negative alternation, this adds up to a total of 8 divisions. Each division here is worth 0 0.5. Half a millisecond. So, 8 times 0 0.5 since there are 8 divisions, it gives 4 milliseconds. What to do with these 4 milliseconds to find the frequency? The frequency is the reciprocal of the period. It will only be in hertz as if the period is expressed in seconds. I convert in seconds. Well, 4 milliseconds is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. The 10 to the minus 3 which is in the denominator, I pass it to the numerator, it becomes 10 to the 3. So that's 1000 divided by 4, 1,000 divided by 4, we can do it head on. That's 250 hertz. Here is this sinusoidal alternating voltage analyzed. If you download this application from my site, you will choose the shape. Frequency of your signal and amplitude, the link below the video. That's it. Thank you.